During El Nino, trade winds weaken. Warm water is pushed back east, toward the west coast of the Americas. El Nino means little boy in Spanish. South American fishermen first noticed periods of unusually warm water in the Pacific Ocean in the 1600s. The full name they used was El Nino de Navidad, because El Nino typically peaks around December. El Nino can affect our weather significantly. The warmer waters cause the Pacific jet stream to move south of its neutral position. With this shift, areas in the northern US and Canada are drier and warmer than usual. But in the U.S. Gulf Coast and Southeast, these periods are wetter than usual and have increased flooding. El Nino also has a strong effect on marine life off the Pacific coast. During normal conditions, upwelling brings water from the depths to the surface, this water is cold and nutrient-rich. During El Nino, upwelling weakens or stops altogether. Without the nutrients from the deep, there are fewer phytoplankton off the coast. This affects fish that eat phytoplankton and, in turn, affects everything that eats fish. The warmer waters can also bring tropical species, like yellowtail and albacore tuna, into areas that are normally too